Hey, I'm Eric Jackson, Director of Horticulture at Old Salem, and we're here behind the Herbst House, underneath a dogwood, Cornus, Florida. The dogwood is the state flower of North Carolina, and funny enough, the flowers part that we think of as flowers, the white area, is actually not a flower, but uh, technically it's a bract, and the flower is a small, less showy part on the inside. The trunk and bark of the dogwood is also pretty interesting, and one of the key ways to easily identify it with this sort of checkered alligator-like bark. Woodworkers really love the dogwood wood, because of its close grain texture, it's great for making handles for hand tools. Showy red fruit is produced and is a popular and important food source for many of the species of birds and wildlife. Dogwood is not only the state flower of North Carolina, it's also the state tree of Virginia and Missouri. Behind me is a black hall viburnum, or viburnum prunifolium, and it's a pretty cool native tree that we have all around Old Salem. The leaves are pretty cool. They turn red in the fall, and the flowers, as you can see, are these attractive creamy white clusters of little tiny flowers. They all form berries later in the summer, and Reuter, Salem's first forester and the surveyor of the Wachovia Tract, wrote that the black hall fruit is edible, and there's records of the Moravians in Salem eating black hall fruit. So here I am surrounded by Prunus cerasus. This is the Montmorency cherry. Montmorency cherry was brought to the United States by European colonizers. And this is a tart sour cherry that's used in preserving and in baking. The cherries form around June. Here I am underneath a pawpaw tree or a, a Semina triloba. These are very understated flowers or humble flowers, but later these flowers will turn into a tropical like mango kind of fruit and it's the only Asimina species that grows outside of the tropics. Pawpaw fruit is enjoyed by wildlife and has been an important food source for indigenous communities. The flowers are swarming with flies right now and because they produce a sort of an unpleasant rotten meat kind of odor. And it's because the flowers are pollinated by flies and they want to attract them with that odor. So you may remember from the previous video where this peach tree was covered in blossoms and now the blossoms are gone and the leaves have come out and the fruit is just starting to set. Spring's very dynamic, it's always changing. There's new things flowering all the time. So just get out there and explore nature.